Hello and welcome. Um, it's your boy. My name is Emmanuel, and I'll be walking us through um, introduction to Microsoft Excel interface. That is how we can prepare a simple budget. A simple budget. Yeah. So, yeah, Microsoft Excel. This is the interface. Now, here is the row. Here is the row. Rather, all these one, two, three, four, five. They are the rows. And all these A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, they are the columns. And most importantly in Excel, the thing you need to know is what we call cell referencing. Cell referencing. And by cell referencing, we mean this is a cell. All this, all this box, all this little little box that you are seeing, they are called a cell. So if I place my cursor here now, if I place my cursor here now, let me go to some. If I place my cursor here now, I am in column. I am in column sorry if i place my cursor here i am in column i row 10 so you can see it here look at the cell address i 10 so cell address is very very important in excel and then this is the excel interface we have file under the file we have info new open save save as print share export close account options so as time everybody knows save and save as well this is where you go to save documents and print this is where you you know if I want to print this document so I can specify, can make it, um, can make it A4. So this is where you print documents. So you have your save and save as you have open. This is where you you know look at your recent document and the likes. Then you have your new, so you can open a new workbook. So here you have your you know um, Excel templates that are here, so you can use. So then we have the home. We have all this feature here cuts copy format painter paste this is where you text this is where you format text both italize and align we have margin center all right so we have margin center you have general conditional formatting format as table and all this insert delete format auto sum fill clear so as time goes on we begin to get used and then we have the insert this is where you can insert people tables recommend people table tables pictures and so many so but today i just want to show us how we can prepare a simple budget using microsoft excel so these are sheet one sheet two sheet three if you want more sheet you can click sheet four and let's say i want this sheet four to come to the first one i would left click on it hold the left click and come here so it goes back well let me make it go back so left click hold your left click and drag so it comes here if i want it i want this uh, one to come here i'll click on here i'll left click on it and put it here so this is how to play around um excel sheet but let me leave it as default so if you want more sheet you can just be clicking and be clicking and you can rename this let's say i want to rename this to january so well you can rename your excel sheet as the case may be so i want to show us how we can prepare a simple um budget for a school so let's say the name of my school is um name of my school is sugar field high school i want to show their analysis analysis of budget for 2022 so and then um i want to see the analysis of budget for 2022 so let me just increase this so let me bold it let me format it here I, i'll click on bold let me just you know increase it a bit so i can leave it like this so i can come here and say month m-o-n-t-h month can come here and say income yes i want to be very simple expenses and here i can come here and say profit so the month you know with the month january february march april may june july you understand so don't mind me so let me just type january j a n u a r y now some people when they tell them to type month so maybe your boss has you to type that begin to f february and like so you don't need that so if you're an advanced excel user you can just come here and drag so again you come to this place when you come to this place go to this the edge of this place so you can just drag it can you see august 
it's showing on the screen October, November, December. Excel will fill it for you automatically because Excel understands months. So, so income. So I will just give it any amount. So let me just come here and copy the figures that I have here. So I'll just come here and say Control C. So I'm just using this as an explanation, and I say control alt v control alt v in excel is means paste special that is you don't want to i don't want to paste everything like that because it will paste the formatting so i'll just say value so can you see to show only the figure instead of it to show this um excel borderline so let me try it again and let me not press control alt v so i just come here hit my control c and come here and just say control v can you see all those border lines would be appear so control z so if you want to copy and paste you just you just go to where you want to copy press control c highlight press control c control c and come here sorry about that press control c come here and press control alt v so you just go to value so it will paste only the value it will not take um, it will not take um, cognizance of the formatting that is all those borders and all those things that are there so you just say okay so it has pasted for us now in microsoft excel to calculate profit we know that profit is what income minus expenses those was our accounting student anyways profit is um income minus expenses so you say equals to um you tap on this place cell c5 i just told us about cell referencing cell c column, uh, column c row six so you just say cell c tap on this cell c6 minus cell d6 so press enter can you see press enter then you you can just double tap on this place just go to the you know there's a formula here instead of you to now start typing the formula just go to this place your excel cursor will change to a plus just double tap on it pam pam can you see everything will be calculated automatically for you so let me make this more nice so by just coming here um i will like this so I, I bought it so now some of me wonder how did I put that formatting so let me show you how I did that so I highlight it and then I come to this place where, where we have border then I click on all borders can you see it now you can see right now so click on all borders so that was how I was able to, to do that so I can come here and say total t-o-t-a-l right so I also bought this let me boot everything so so we can see boot boot so let me increase this let me so let me increase this a little bit so we can see right so i'll come here and say equals to sum sum open a bracket i'll tap on this place c6 i'll look for c6 to c17 so what i'm trying to tell you is that help me hard from cell c6 to cell c17 so can we see c17 there's 200 there this one too c6 there is 500 there cell c6 this is cell address so so once I'm, I'm, I've done that, I will just click on here and look for that. Go to the edge of that box and look for that plus sign, and then I will drag. So it will help me fill this. So let me put a comma there. Look at where you go. You come to this place. See, you highlight and come to this place and give it a comma. Can you see? So that is how you can. And then let me make this place more interesting. So this should have you notice that it is somehow to the edge. So I'll just highlight. The whole data set and i'll click on merge and center to come to the center i come back to ctrl z let me show us how i did that again so you come here you come to this place this cell you highlight and then you click on merge and center so the same thing you come here highlight click on merge and center so guys that's just it for the introduction to microsoft excel the same way if i wanted to type um days in a week so I will just type Monday M O N D A Y. So some people don't know this. This is called flash view. So instead of me to be typing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I just come here, click on here, and then I will highlight. I will just click on here, look, uh, go to the edge of that box. I will see this plus sign. I will now left click. I will left click, and I will begin to drag Monday, Tuesday. Can you see Wednesday? 
Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Can you see? Everything will be automated automatically. So, thank you for watching this video. This is just an introduction to Microsoft Excel. So, if you are new to this channel, I want you to subscribe to this channel as I will be sharing more tips on Microsoft Excel. Thank you. I remain Omar Buga Emmanuel. And God bless you.